Hotwire CNC update. Been collecting parts for this for a year or two. Finally starting to put it together. Got Keith's plans here. I did, you know, a little bit kind of different things, but the nice thing about his design is you realize that really you just need something to move in this direction and something to move in this direction. You know, as far as how you accomplish that, I'm copying his, which is just uh, some drawer slides here. These are 28 inch. I think they, they do like 100 pounds each. And so there is 28 inches of movement all the way out to there. So that's in the, the horizontal axis. And then I can't remember, I think I think I have 18 inches of travel here, which I don't need, but at the moment, you know, because you usually only do a, a couple inches thick on a wing, but if I want to do some other letters or crazy shapes, I don't want to have to rebuild this thing, so 18 inches there. Um, now in his, he used MDF for everything, so he has a piece of MDF and a brace there, and he also put the motor on top. Um, I wanted the motor on the bottom so that um, I, I didn't want the cutting wire down low and then have to come up as far. I want to be able to raise the foam up so that I actually have negative space that if I want to lower the foam, like I have a really thick piece of foam and I only want to cut in the top, I can actually drop it down pretty far now so I can adjust it in both directions. Um, and then in, instead of that that brace at the top. I actually, these were like four or five bucks. I just got some of these uh, metal, you know, they're actually specifically made for NEMA 23s. And then because um, I didn't have that brace at the top, I took my back brace higher up, just, you know, just because. Um, and I did pretty much a similar thing what he did. I cut a much larger hole and then mounted my nut and there's my batteries mounted the nut there so then glued that in place so i could make sure that there wasn't much movement on my coupler here so anyways the uh other one is getting pretty close i'm just epoxying the nut up in there straight and then once that's done, I just have to screw it on here, which isn't too big of a deal. Mount the NEMA motor. Got the PC over there ready to go. Linux CNC is on it. And I got, let's see here, 24 volts power supply. Got one of the little cheapo Chinese controllers is going to go over there to my crappy computer with its parallel port so it's getting exciting I'm trying to get this done this weekend so I can start doing wiring and playing with the software so pretty cool I'll have a link down below to my build log and where you can look up Keith's stuff and get his ebook and all that <laughs> 